We saw it, of course, in the middle of a bustling town. Jim Matheny, though, he saw the total solar eclipse in the middle of nature, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Take a look. Hey, well, good afternoon to you, man. What a beautiful afternoon here at the highest point anywhere that you can see the total eclipse east of Wyoming, this being the observation tower here at Kling's, Klingman's Dome. And, you know, for the 1,500 people who were here this afternoon to see this total eclipse, this was truly a natural phenomenon to observe. I am a park volunteer assisting visitors at Klingman's Dome. Christina Plas helps 1,500 people see the first total eclipse in these mountains since 1869. I see stars! But along with watching, Plas was listening to wildlife. Because we have a lot of wildflowers blooming along uh, Klingman's Dome Trail right now, the bees and other pollinators were very noisy today. 25 minutes to a half an hour before totality, it started to get quieter. Within five minutes before totality, you could only see, you know, maybe two or three bees on a plant that had been covered with bees. And at totality, it was completely quiet. Until the very end of totality, as we were coming out, and one bird started to chirp in the fir trees. It was amazing to listen to. Of all the chances to look and listen on the perch of Klingman's Dome, this one was the total package. Oh, it tops. No question about it. Did all kinds of preparation for today, and that didn't even begin to come close to the reality of experiencing the moment.